What is up guys and welcome back to the channel and I'm going to show you guys how to change the brake pads on your Zoom 4 piston hydros and we're going to do this really quickly and really easy. All you're going to need is an Allen key set, a flat head, some needle nose pliers, uh, also I would recommend maybe some latex gloves uh, so you can keep your hands clean and that's it. So first thing you're going to do is unscrew the two bolts that hold the red caliper in place to the black bracket. So we're just going to unscrew these guys. Make sure you don't lose them. Don't crank on them too hard at an angle or anything like that. You don't want to strip these guys out. Really simple to do. And once they're out, you're going to be golden. So once the caliper is in your hands, you're going to have this little cotter pin that's holding the brake pads in place. And this is when your needle nose pliers are going to come into play. So the best thing you can do is turn the little cotter pin upwards. That way you can expose the longer little side of the pin. And then take your needle nose pliers and try to flatten that thing out as best as possible. Once it's straightened, you can go ahead and push it with one finger straight through and that's going to release your brake pads so sometimes if it's not completely straight you got to give it a nice little tug just wiggle it around a little and it'll come out and then put, make sure you place that in a nice uh, safe place and with that you could go ahead and just push on the brake pads themselves and they'll come right out very simple stuff guys so once it's out of the way you're gonna have your new brake pads with the clip and you don't want to put the clip on this way you want to make sure that the brake pad is on the inside of one of those lips. You're going to hold that flat to it. It's going to be a little tricky to hold, but you'll get it. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other brake pad onto the other side. And what you're going to do with that is make sure it's all lined up and flat. Very simple. And then just make sure you place it in the caliper the same way you took it out. And you want to make sure those little holes at the top line up with the holes on the caliper itself and then you're going to go ahead just squeeze it in there make sure it's nice and you know secure in its position and now we're going to go ahead and get that cotter pin back into place so go ahead give it a nice little wiggle sometimes like i said before if it's not completely straight just got to play with it a little and you'll get it in there don't just be way too rough with it um, you don't want to like scratch up your calipers for no reason, but it's very simple. Just make sure it's aligned and then the same thing as before guys You're just gonna go ahead turn that little lip upwards that way the longest part is sticking out And then uh, you're gonna grab it with those needle nose pliers and you're gonna bend it upwards And then uh, like I said, make sure you get a good grip on it as you can see here I fumbled with it a couple of times, but I want you to get it up Make sure it's bent upwards and then you can go ahead and twist it back to the side and that is it so the next big thing is you see the brake pads are kind of touching right there you're gonna want that to fit over the brake rotor itself now sometimes you can slip it on there sometimes it becomes a pain and this is when the flat head is going to come into play so being extremely gentle with the brake pads you're just gonna stick the flat head in there and just Give it a soft, very, very soft tap or like twist the, the flat head just to push back the pistons on the caliper just enough that it will slip onto the brake rotor and then that's it. You're golden. Go ahead and grab the two screws and just make sure the caliper is in its, you know, spot. Um, you don't want to tighten it up all the way. You just want to set those screws in there and make sure it's on there because these calipers have room for adjustment so you don't want it like dragging on the rotor or anything like that so we're gonna just screw these down until they're like just barely snug not completely sitting tight so as you can see there just loosen it just a little bit sit it down in position go ahead and give the tire a spin to make sure it's not dragging on a caliper and now we can tighten it up because it's not rubbing and uh, we did a perfect job with that first try <laughs> so once you got it set up go ahead and tighten everything up also a good thing to uh, check for is to tighten up the brackets that hold the caliper on there as well and you don't want to over tighten anything but it's real simple just give it a nice little snug turn and you'll be golden and that's it guys 
So all you need is an Allen key set, a flathead, knee and nose pliers, some gloves, and that is it guys. Real simple job. Should take you about 10 minutes to knock this whole job out. And uh, the same thing we did to the back applies to the front, and that is it. So if you guys have any questions and need any more help, leave a comment below. Let me know how it goes, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.